Uh, hello everyone. So uh, in this video, I decided to talk about uh, some scholarship option for master's student. So for this video, I have selected two scholarship to discuss. These scholarship can be taken by master's student and one of them also can be taken by bachelor's student. So the first one is a scholarship based on study results. So this is scholarship you can apply from your second semester onwards. And uh, this, uh, the decision for this scholarship is made on your performance. And the requirement is also given on this page. So in this scholarship, uh, you will get 100 euros. So once you get this scholarship, uh, this scholarship will be for one semester and uh, it will be for five months. So each month you will receive 100 euros. Uh, so there are some requirements uh, given on the page. And uh, if you want to see in detail, like what are the requirements and uh, other information. So I have also provided this link, which also include the procedure for applying this scholarship. So I hope uh, if you are a new student, in that case, you cannot apply for this scholarship. So for that case, uh, we are having DORA plus a scholarship for foreign masters student. So this scholarship, uh, once you will receive, it will be for one year and in total 10 months each month you will receive 350 euros and uh, in case of first year student uh, the decision of the scholarship will be based upon your admission result so when you apply in the Tallinn University uh, admission committee assign a score for each student and that score actually determine whether you are going to be admitted in Tallinn University or not so that score can also be used for this scholarship. So once you are admitted admitted in Tallinn University, you can apply for this scholarship. And the application procedure uh, given, another, there is a document for that. So all the information related to application process, procedure, what are the conditions, all information in given in this document. So I have also put the link in the description of this video. I Hope it might be helpful for you mm, and regarding the requirement uh, so first of all uh, you can only apply for this scholarship if you are studying in a master program which is in English and second so as a requirement so the thing is like if you are applying for this scholarship in the second year you have to show that at least you complete completed 54 ECTS credits but this is not the case if you are uh, a new student in that case uh, your admission score will be used to determine whether you will get this scholarship or not well so I think uh, you can just have a look and uh, can decide like what kind of scholarship will be more suitable for you and there are other uh, scholarship options as well but in this video I just uh, mentioning these two so for those other option I will try to create try to create another video so thank you very much for watching